Hey guys, and welcome to Silence, which I have now broken by speaking. That, that's, that's the best line I could open with. Really? Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, so this is from Dedalic Entertainment. It's an adventure game. It's supposed to be a sequel or a spiritual successor, I believe, to The Whispering World, which I have admittedly not played. But I'm going with the assumption that you don't need to know that game to, n to understand this game because they didn't call it Whispering World 2, but just Silence. Possibly because they're just using the same universe, like how Mars Warlogs and Technomancer took place in the same world, technically, but I don't think it even slightly mattered which one you played first. We shouldn't stay here. It's cramped and dusty. I can hardly breathe. It's horrible. Well, I was not expecting this game to basically open with London Blitz. We'll get through this, Rini. Whose clock said it's not safe here? He didn't say what I clicked on. The only 
certain thing is death. It's safer than out there, anyway. We could run and hide in the woods. No! Or we could run back to the orphanage. I'm sure Sarah and Maria are waiting for us. We're stuck in here. Why don't you understand that? Anyone still out there is going to die. All of them. Little girls aren't invincible. They get blown to pieces, too. I... I didn't mean to. Rini, I didn't mean to scare you. Rini, I'm so sorry. Just forget what I said. We're okay. You're safe here. I promise. I didn't what mean to scare you. Didn't mean to scare you, but you should also absolutely be scared. Because this is a horrible situation. <laughs> that was a giant stuffed toy. Nope. However, the cursor over one of the many objects. Click that to interact. Oh, the TV. Is that our but That's a terrible idea. You're gonna have news about how all of our friends are dead. <laughs> Even the mirror is broken? Ordinary mirror. Maybe there's something nice on. Uh, all right, let's do something Miss Clock totally wouldn't approve of. <laughs> Today's fighting resulted in mass fatalities with unknown casualties. It is only certain that aerial bombardment has not ceased. Well, that helped about as much as I figured it would. You like shadow plays, don't you? <laughs> Look, Rini. There's the elephant. So oh, dear. <laughs> you immediately made a tank. Congratulations, you nailed it. A plus brothering. I assume brother, right? <laughs> Something that never fails to cheer Rini up. Guess who I am? Well? You don't look like him at all. How about now? No, you don't even have baubles. And where's Spot? Hmm? Where am I supposed to get a bobble hat? Not to mention a green super caterpillar. Super caterpillar, huh? <laughs> super caterpillar power expelatocious. Well, look at that. Isn't that the sock I was looking for last week? <laughs> Bet I can't find the other one. Socks belong together, but there's always one missing. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of sad. Everything around you is sad, and you can't escape how sad everything is. Oh, goody. Yeah, you're not gonna find the other one anymore. Or you might, in a hundred different pieces of ash. Oh, now the donkey head's interactive. Hey! He's got a bobblehead! I hate to make a fool of myself. I'll do it for Rini. Oh, backwards? Okay. Hey, Rini. Hello, Sadwick. How's Spot? Well, ask him yourself when he shows up. Now I need a super caterpillar. Oh. This could make a fine sock spot. Ta-da! Today's show is all about audience requests. I want a story about silence. Really? <laughs> No! Please tell me the story of Spot and Sadwick. All right. So this is the story of Sadwick. And his world's silence. Sure. And his world. Eh-aw. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> silence. Sadwick was a clown who never laughed. He also didn't want people to laugh at him. 
So he left his grandpa, his brother, and the circus to see the world. But not alone. Because with him was his best friend. Spot. Spot also helped Sadwick. And he did it by changing into all kinds of things. Eventually, they made their way to the King of Silence. You need a crown and something for the prosophy. One thing at a time. First, my crown. Is this all a framing device? This might be like King's Quest, where it's all a framing device for the actual gameplay. Where you play as completely different people. Oh, is that a crown? Ah, there it is! Is he gonna turn it upside down? Hey, presto! The King of Silence! He was a good king. But he got very sick. And along with him, the land began to suffer. Fields withered. Walls and cities crumbled. Everything decayed and fell apart. If only the king would recover. Because if he did, so would silence. Sadwick wanted to bring him an elixir of life, just as an old oracle had foreseen. John is not old. Right. She's pretty timeless, actually. And mysterious. Where's her crystal ball? Well, this part seems easy. Why, hello there, crystal ball. Did Shauna have a ball like that? Sure. Somewhere. The mysterious Shauna foretold that Sadwick was destined to save the king, but also that he would destroy silence. Of course he would never believe that. He wanted to bring an elixir of life to the king, right? Yes. But when he arrived at the castle, he saw that Shauna was right. Do you remember what awaited him in the throne room? Watt turns everything around without actually moving. There was no king in the throne room. Only a mirror. I wonder if they just recapped the entire story of Whispering Worlds. Oh, that thing's falling. Aww. Well, now I'm sad. When Sadwick dared to look into the mirror, he didn't see a sad clown with a bobble hat. Instead, there was a boy, struck with illness, ready to open his eyes after a long time, or to leave them shut forever. That boy was you. You were sick and sleeping, and Sadwick's spot in silence? That was all just a dream. Yeah. What? What did Sadwick do? He smashed the mirror and doomed his world. To save you. You were the King of Silence. Ah! Ugh. Rainy! I'm gonna say no on framing device. Under heavy fire. Uh, damn it. Rainy? Rainy, are you okay? Rainy! Fighting the third wave of attacks. <laughs> Heavy artillery bombardment. <laughs> the battle is rekindled. Expensive. <laughs> It's strategic offensive. Rini! Where are you? It's not a good sign. If that had fallen on her, she might already be dead. So I don't know what the chances are here. So middle mouse will do hints. I'm gonna go ahead and not instead. Let's see here. The donkey hat? Wait, do I have to do it? I can't find anything to interact with. Alright. There, I went away. <laughs> donkey. Or, rather, what's left of him. Oh, is she under there? Reedy! Just a bag? Thank God. Oh, it's the cat caterpillar pillar. Or, caterpillar... ...toy sock. Like I used a spot for my story. Oh, there's the crystal ball. Oh. 
Strange. Spot? Are you in there? Why does the sock suddenly have an egg in it? No. Greeny! Thank God you're alive! Where are you? No. You stupid piece of junk. Now you're making me think that we're already dead. By the fact that the, the, there was suddenly an egg in the sock. Greeny! Where are you? Keep it down! Shut off already! The room's changed colors now. So we can't do anything with the donkey, apparently. Shut up! Oh, that's useful. Greenie! I'm sure we can use that hammer. Just die already! Oh wow. That's a bad idea. Ooh. That was probably not a good call. What is that? Yeah, I'm really getting the feeling we're dead already. A really strong feeling of that. Hello. Where am I? Well, this is visually distinctive. There's stuff from silence all over the place. Is this a dream? It sure seems like it. Rini's just magically at the opening of the cave way out there in the distance. You have a a train, cart, uh, floating cauldrons of crystal, a giant baby face with markings on it, a suit of armor, a clock. Toxic gas, probably. Holy moly. Is something moving down there? Uh, or am I just seeing things? And which is more unsettling? And... Uh-oh. Ooh. That could go poorly. Is that really the kettle of Sadwick's grandpa? I feel like if we drop... If we touch the globe, we're just, just going to spin and drop us into there. Fog, right? The last time I saw that armor, a cook was wearing it. I hope you got out okay. Aren't those the planetary gears from the castle in silence? The train I rode through the sky looks ruined. Just like everything else here. So I believe this is the same company that makes the Deponia games. Hey, what's that? I'm on my way. Stay put! What? Where am I? Thank God Rini made it through unscathed. I'd feel better if I knew what's out there, though. My old trailer. Uh, I mean, Sadwick's old trailer. I could jump over there. If I could overcome my fear of heights, that is. Or my fear in general, for that matter. For Rini! Yep. Oh. Whoa. Nailed it. Oh. Got a... Go back and forth. Wow, we're Tony Hawk grinding right now. Uh oh. So you gotta stay near the middle to make it fill. There we go. So not only does there appear to be a fail condition, but you can also uh, get too close to failing and have to start over. Another world wrecked by my hands. Hey, that was only a globe, and I'm not Sadwick. Wow, that was morbid. Reaction to. Destroying a globe. Huh? Who are you? Rini, what are you doing? No, stay right there. Rini! And we lost her. Come on, armor.
Did that actually help? Oh yeah. I didn't quite see the what depth angle that was at. How are we getting out of here? You can climb on those rails? It must be way closer than I think it is. Come on. Keep going. I can't see a series of interlocking rings like that that would probably all spin around without thinking like the grand conjunction. Gelfling? 